Hello, everybody, and welcome to Hello. part three of The Fake. I am your host, Katagotaku, and I'm with my friend, Shiki Scarlet, once again. Ah, oh, yes, I, I I just love suffering. Don't we all? <laughs> you know, but, but then again, I also heard being a Maguka is suffering, but that's a completely different story. Anywho, um, we're just about to get started with um, more of this fic, so let's let's just jump right into it. All right. <clears throat> chapter Chapter 6, Autumn's Fall. A week had passed since Billy first arrived in the mystical land against Tokyo, and his old friend James, now known as Zero Kita, had shown him around and introduced him to many of the locals as they shared a drink together with the Shrine Maid Dan Sinai. <laughs> I, I, keep, I, I like to keep in mind that first sentence literally had no punctuation. I had to read that all in one go. Oh, well, it's, you know, it's just a guy that leads to get into the action, you know? <laughs> I never got to visit Britain when I lived in the outside world. Real shame, that is. Governor. Sine uh, said inside, and she had some wine because that's because, yeah, because she's, she's a wine mom now. Yeah, she's clearly the type to drink wine. Uh, Billy, I mean, this. Uh, Billy ordered some more beers. Oh, right, Mike, you're so interesting. So, my magic stuff is real here, right? Isn't it, Mike? Totally, Mike. You see the football last night? <laughs> uh, Billy said, and Cine nodded, and Billy drank his beer down. Oh, can we just, like, point? Can I, I like to point that, like, Billy just sounds like a really generic name? Like, it's not even a generic Britain name. It's just, it's just like, a generic name. <laughs> you yeah. could have changed his name to Bob, and literally nothing would have changed. I mean, I mean, I would hate to have a generic name like that. Like, my like name I really was Kiva, because <laughs> I'm like an exotic trash bag. <laughs> but like, I know people who are called like Billy and Bob, and like, I'm not, I'm not judging any Billy and Bobs here. Like, please, I hope I didn't offend Billys and Bobs. <laughs> it's just such a generic name. I know it's short for William, but William is just so much more elegant. Like William. And then you got Billy. Let's see here. Let's see. Then Sunai kissed Billy, and Zero turned around and sighed. Looks like those two are already hitting it off. Saini always was a bit of a souk. He thought to himself playfully, Qu a question, do you know what a souk is? I, I remember looking up the definition a while ago, but I forgot what it meant. Uh, well, I don't know if it's the same spelling, but as I went here, like, you know, if somebody's being really affectionate, you would call them a big souk. But I don't think that's how you spell it. All right, let's see. Um, I'm actually just going to look at the definition real quick. Let's see. Ah, here you are. A person lacking spirit or self-confidence or a coward. Oh my god. <laughs> ah, yes, I knew she was too cowardly to, for the almighty Merlin descendant. <laughs> She's not as alpha as Zero is. <laughs> Zero, had, Zero had remembered that Billy had been staying at the Moyua Shrine with Sanai for a while since he came here, and he and Sanai had started to become a bit closer. Zero was also there a lot doing work for the goddess's tech project in order to help Hen Sokyo in advance. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, we gotta get, we gotta make sure those eggs get out faster, am I right? <laughs> It's obviously that uh, Goddess Canicle has become Elon Musk now. She's, she's just a tech bro. Yeah, Zero decided to leave the two lovebirds to it as he went to the Huruki Shrine to meditate and study so he could become stronger and holy magic as he expanded his skills and his abilities. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> I got you some tea. Raymu smiled and Zero took it and had a sip. Thank you. This is really good, Raymu. Zero smiled and hugged her, then went back to his meditation. And that was completely pointless. Next scene. Meanwhile, in a dark location, some get bad guys meet it up. Mayor, uh, Mayor with a lowercase m, Lorelei, uh, Lore was there singing a bird song. Because I'm worth it. L'Oreal. <laughs> I, I just keep thinking of the shampoo advert from like, I'm just, uh, I'm, just I'm just thinking of the Elite Four member from the, from the Kanto region. So I was just singing a bird song. At last, the ponds are in place. Soon, the age of humanity will come to an end. She sang. Hire me, Simon Cowell. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, um, that's a really weird bird song. I wonder what she means by that. Nah, it's probably a coincidence. She sang, and then Zero came in. Humans are fucking dumb. Anyway, I am the smartest of all of us. Ha 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 ha! And I will begin my genocide crusade and wipe out the filth. 
<laughs> she laughed, dancing around. More yokai came in, but then the head yokai was there. Ellipses. It was Yukari Yumeko. You couldn't even. You couldn't even. Literally. That's what? Just a surprising twist. Oh yeah. Let's be real here. We were all expecting it. I mean, I thought Rumia was going to be the big bad. No, honestly, I was kind of expecting Uzan. <laughs> oh, okay. We already have our people in key positions now. Kane was a terrible loss, I admit, but she refused to conform to our cause and had to be removed. Well, that's because she's a defender of the human village. <laughs> Yukari sighed. Some, some, some silver uh, armored uh, shock soldiers came in with high-tech guns, and with them was two rabbits and schoolgirl outfits and two lettuce. I, I just picture in, like, Brotherhood of Steel guys, but helmets have, like, bunny ears at the top. <laughs> and there's no end to them, brother! <laughs> okay, who's top? Okay, uh, uh, <laughs> it's the girls from, uh, Silent Sinner and Blue. Okay, what voice to do here? Let's see. You have the backing of the moon. With our help, we shall put the vile human race in their place. Watasuki no to, Watasuki no toyo toyujime. They didn't even literally say said or anything. It's, it, they just say the. They just misspell the name. And that's it. it Got to me. I mean, I mean, to be fair, that's kind. Yes, obviously, Zero knows all about his Japanese linguistics. It's he knows all of his Japanese animes. Uh, Lori, uh, Lori Lay smiled. We have put forward laws for the new Human Registration Act, the first step in many in our plans. She laughed. Yukari nodded. Okay, so how are they going to make this fly? Just. Are they going to gradually ease this, like, authoritarianism in, or is it just, like, overnight, like, yeah, we're, we're registering the humans, even though we promised it was going to be a new age of cooperation, but I you, you're second class now. I don't know. Like, okay. I, I don't know, man. I don't know. Carry okay, noise. I have no sympathy for mankind. They are an evil and selfish. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you can't take that seriously. <laughs> just... They are an evil and selfish race that kill, steal, and rape everything in sight due to their dark nature. Oh, like you're one to talk, Yokai! <laughs> they will be the end of all things if their numbers are not kept in check. Yukari said. Oh, I'm good. To, we're going to have a good old population call. <laughs> and, you know, just a little bit of a cleansing, if you know what I mean. The age of magic is returning. Soon Gensokyo will expand and take back what is rightfully its, said Cyrano. The next day, Zero was studying science and magic subjects in the library with Patchouli. Oh, thank God, they actually, I, that, oh, thank God, they actually spelled liber, or liberally and Patchouli's <laughs> name correctly. Thank God. I have learned so much since I came back here in the day. Zero said, and, Pat, and Patch Loy nodded. Ah, it's too good to be true. You have come far and even surpassed my own knowledge. <laughs> Patch, uh, Patch, uh, Patch Louie knowledge stated. Pa uh, uh, Patch kissed Zero and brought him a cup of tea. Want to come to the bed? I have some silky things I got. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> she giggled and Zero smiled. <coughs> I thought you'd never ask. He said, and they went to bed and had some and had some fun with the lowercase n ap appearing to be in bold. I don't know. Romelia came in that afternoon. Zero, I'm having a ball tonight and would like you to come help Sakia with the cooking. Romelia said. Sure. I'd love to. Zero smiled as he looked forward to the ball that night, but then they were screaming outside, and they run outside to see what it was. What is going on here? Uh, Hong Mei Ling asked. It was Marasa Kitsume. <laughs> Thank God, Zenishu! You must help us! A dragon is attacking the human village, and it's too strong, and Rayna is having trouble, and oh my god, I'm gonna be late for the prom! She gasped, and Zero slammed his fist. Where did he slam it on? That's the question. 
Uh, I'll lead the way and help you fight it and with they, my chaos control. And they ran as fast as they could towards the human village with furious speed. And on this episode of the Fast and the Furious, can't soak your knights. And the dragon, the dragon was huge and black and firing Whoa, ice from its this. mouth. Oh, dragons are, and I better stop myself. I could probably say something problematic there. <laughs> it's a blizzard dragon. I've read about them in the old tomes. What tomes? Zero gasps in shock as he knew that this was a very powerful dragon, but this will clearly be no trouble for Zero, for he is the one and the only. Raymu yeah. shot hundreds of cards. Uh, Raymu shot hundred, uh, hundreds of cards of it, but it did no damage as the dragon smacked her onto the ground and she was covered in blood. <laughs> She just threw her Yu-Gi-Oh cards at it. And yeah, I'll see. Uh, 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 crap! I should have known that my entire deck of Karibos was going to it wasn't going to work. I, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure having six, uh, sixty Karibos in a deck would work, right? Mama. Uh, Raymu, hold on! Marissa shouted and rushed to her aid. Zero powered up and flew into the air, firing thousands of magic orbs at the dragon. This bastard is tough. Zero shouted as he dodged an ice breath attack. Ma uh, Maras Marasia got up and fired the master spark. Eat this, Zeh. I think you mean the master sparkle. She screamed. <laughs> she screamed, blasting it with the powerful beam, but it only did a little damage as the monster smashed her with the powerful claw. <laughs> After turning into Donald Duck for a few seconds, she screamed and hit the ground. You bastard! How dare you hurt my friend! Uh, Zero said and focused his blast into a series of powerful elemental shots wounding the dragon. Pew, he, th pew. he then unleashed a burst attack as he glowed with silver energy. I can do this! Master Spark Sigma! He shouted as he unleashed a multicolored blast of pure magical energy as the dragon was on fire that exploded into pure energy. Ellipses, it was now over. <laughs> Oh, really? What question? How is the Sigma different from the regular one? Because it's for what from the from the brief description. What's the cool name? <laughs> Zero landed and tended to the wounds of Raymu. Good. You're really powerful, Zero. You have learned so much compared to that boy that first came here. Manas has said. <laughs> I studied. Oh my God, that's it up there. I studied your master spark during my training. But he had to see it in action. When you used it there in order to get the framework to unleash my own take on it. What, what framework? You make it sound like it was made with technology. Zero just watches and he's a master now. He's, uh, he's oh god, he's like Majin Buu. Zero's replied and Mata and Mata Sia smiled and ruffled his hair. Uh, I, if he romances Mara says, well, I'm, 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 I'm just leaving the call. I'm just done. Please no. Does that. Please no. Please, please, man. If I'm going down, I'm taking you with me. You learn well, Zeh. Later that night, the party started as Zero was wearing a black and gold jacket with his new symbol on it, which was a sword and wing. He also came with Patchouli, who was wearing a black evening dress and looked pretty hot. <gasps> <sighs> Wait, a sword and wings? Wait, is he part of the uh, family from Yuma Nico? You know, or the... Or I can't even remember the name. Means they me. had, like, a symbol. Beats me. Oh, God. Okay, uh... Uh... What is symbol? I'm glad you two could make it! Uh, Romelia smiled, dressed in a black lolita. WORDS! USE THEM! THIS IS NOT HOW YOU SAY THINGS CORRECTLY! <laughs> what does it mean by in a black lolita? That doesn't- that just doesn't sound right! It scarcely bears thinking of it. <laughs> there was music and food and dancing at the ball as people chatted away and Zero and Patchouli shared a dance. I love you, Zero. Patchouli- wow. Patchouli- uh, Patchouli said. Zero said and kissed her passionately. <laughs> oh no, no, please no, stop! For, please, for all, for, please, for for the love of all that is Zun, stop it! Patchouli, 
I want to give you this. It's like he d- he just like gives her a chaos emerald. <laughs> zero, <laughs> zero said and slipped a- a- and engagement ring uh, on her finger, and she was shocked, but then hugged and kissed him in tears. <laughs> okay, Pat, truly the most introverted character in the canon. Uh, cares more about books than anything else. She's just marrying this person she's known about a couple of weeks. <laughs> so it just makes sense. Just. Yes. Yeah, it's I mean, it's, I mean, it's it's like every Disney film ever. It just was extra steps. <laughs> Tell me, Al Qaeda, would you like a movie deal? I think we can take this project to new levels. <laughs> just keep reading. Just channeling my napa. Okay. <laughs> oh, God, I hate the game. I like to kiss it. Thank you, Zero. This means so much to me. Patch Louie said, and they danced. The music changed, and Zero went to get some food. Oh, it's Billy and Sine. He smiled as he noticed Billy took Sunai uh, to the dance as his date. All right, mate. It's good to see you, old friend. Nick Billy smiled. Glad you've adapted to life here, Billy. Zero smiled, and they shared a bro hug. <laughs> Totally not gay, man. It's and, a bro hug. And no homo. Oh, let's get yourself a drink. Chat about old times, buddy. Like the football. You see the Man U game? Oh, that was totally nuts, man. It was totally nuts, I tell ya. Billy said, and Zero nodded. They spent the next few hours chatting. Oi, you get me another beer, Sine. Yeah, as Billy asked, and Sinai smiled. Get your old beer, asshole. <laughs> Sure, dear. She, she said, like a fucking step for the wife. Yes, she said, and went to get them some fresh drinks. Oh, good. Okay, this is Billy. Like, Oi, she's training me along with Kanako, who become a bad pretty all that my in the shrine. It's really cool. I'm learning a lot. Who knew all these Japanese religions were so interesting? And I was scared they were invading my culture because the Daily Mail used to tell me. But now I, I totally love it. You know, my, I, I, you know I'm open to it, man. Billy said. Zero left to stock up on some cakes for the others when he saw Miss Yukari. It's good to see you again, Zero. I see you're becoming more powerful. That is good. She smiled. Ah, oh, you carry. It's good to see you're well. How have you been? Zero asked. I've been good. I wanted to invite you to a town meeting tomorrow. We would love to have you join our inner circle <laughs> and help make the village a better place. Yukari said. And I think, um, like, considering that there isn't any spacing, it's invite you. And that's what I mean. You gotta say it like in one, uh, like it's a giant word. I... <laughs> okay, this is a zero little line. Mm-hmm. I'd love to help you. It's what Kine would have wanted. That's the, oh, oh, he said with sadness. That is good. Then I shall... See you then. Yukari said. Zero then went to enjoy the rest of the party, unaware that dark times wear ahead. Oh, God, that was long. Okay, oh. I'm wondering if Yukari's trying to recruit him to her evil cause. Zero's loyal to Kine mm-hmm. and her ideals. And if we invite this guy who doesn't know about our ways or our culture, who's sympathetic to the pro-human people that we just murdered. Yeah, this is a potential recruit right here. This can only go well. Chapter 7, Autumn's Me- uh, Melocony. It, 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 it was a sunny morning as two bandits made off with a woman's purse. Oh, all right, mate, we scored pure big, we did. And the, sp- the bandit laughed, but then Zero came and unleashed a barrage of magic as he was blasted through a tree. Then Billy drop-kicked the other bandit and, and knocked him out. We make a good team, old friend. Jesus Christ! They make it sound like they make it sound like that they've that it's been like years since they since they've um, been here. They've only been like here like what, okay, a few I'm just, months. Uh, picturing them dressed like the sixties Batman and Robin. They're chasing the bat. It's like da 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 Hell yeah, my hell yeah. Billy said. They took the purse and gave it back to the lady in the human village. Thank you, Zero. Yeah, it's really a community. She smiled. Just happy to help. Zero said. Billy and Zero went for lunch and drinks and had a nice chat. 
So how's life lately? Zero asked. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, well, I just got my new name. Seems I'm going to be called Trajan. Now, <laughs> what? What? Isn't that the name of Zero Son? Yeah, that, 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 Billy said. So that's his Japanese name now. Yeah, that, 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 that would have done you again. So could have give you your hashtag Japanese name. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, uh, there's sounds, some iffy overtones. Sounds, in this sounds, story. I'm just putting out there. sounds like it. Sounds like a name you'd find on I mean, on a fantasy name generator. Sounds like a name for some kind of like canned coffee brand new drink. Uh, the tra- uh, the trade uh, we get our our coffee is freshly made at the Trajan Cocoa Bean Farm. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's a really badass name. Zero smiled to finish his lunch. Okay, uh, here we go. Oh yeah, keep this to yourself for now, but me and Sene Konicha are <laughs> expecting a kid. Turns out she's preggers. Oh. Oh, I'm fucking done. I am done. No, no, don't <laughs> leave me. Don't leave me. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm, I'm fucking done. You're, you're finishing this fic <laughs> with me, good sir. <laughs> Put Trade. a gun down, put a gun down. I'll stay, I'll stay. Okay. Just calm down, calm down. That's Always continue. <laughs> Trajan said. <laughs> Damn, already. You're a real ladies man. I'll give you that. Have you considered, you know? Zero hummed. Oh, marriage? Well, maybe. Not sure yet. Trajan said. <laughs> I was just thinking of just getting her pregnant and just ditching her at the last minute. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> this is a story just for like gappy suits are just knocking up half the canon characters and it, it, it makes me uncomfortable. Zero smiled and gulped his drink. I don't like that. I don't like that, sir. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> does he even apply his speed? It just says he replied. Yeah. So I'm assuming zero. Yeah. Well, the path is yours to choose. I can't show you the door. He replied. Kisoki is a wonderful place, ain't it, Zero? Uh, Trajan smiled and went home to the Moya Shrine. I especially love, uh, I want to point out, it was like, it, 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 like they immediately changed his name from Billy to Trajan once he brought it up. It's it's amazing. <laughs> great, like, great, great writing, great writing, am I right? Well, he's Japanese now, so his name just magically changed. Zero decided to pour, to patrol the, anyway, the forest of magic for any bad guys main it. Ah, uh, oh, god dang, I lost my spacing. <laughs> Zero decided to patrol the forest of magic for any bad guys. Maybe later he'd go hang out at the Tengu City and buy some manga. After all, they wear one of the more advanced places in Tokyo anyway. <gasps> <gasps> Hello, Zah. Marissa waved and Zero hugged her. Good to see you, Marissa. Uh, it's Marissa, okay, Zero said. I heard you were an archmage, now that's amazing. Even I never reached that level of power, you've come a long way. Because, be, because which isn't nearly as fun as archmage? Uh, uh, Marasa smiled. I had good teachers like you and Patch Louie to help me along the way. Zero smiled and ruffled her hair playfully. The two walked together and hung out for a while. Zero, I feel a storm is coming. Marissa sighed sadly. Don't worry. We can take on anything because we're Sonic. <laughs> Zero said, and they, and they, he went home and took a nap and did some reading. Oh, yeah. I have Yukari's meeting. I better get going. He thinked. Zero got his archmage jacket that was black and gold and then went out. It was a dark night and the rain was heavy and stormy. What a shitty night. He sighed and wondered how Moku was lately as he had not seen her for a while. I guess Kane's death cut her up. Either that, either that or she didn't want to be a part of the story anymore. He sighed and went to the building in the human village where the meeting was going to happen. Zero opened the doors into a large uh-huh. meeting hall full of yokai and maids, and Yukari sat in the center. One of the one of the maids is, is just that I'm a maid that what, what, didn't like Reimu have a maid in her shrine at one point? Wasn't it like I remember that? Wasn't that PC98 canon? 
Yeah, I'm trying. Yeah, I'm trying to remember that she had like a, it was like a robotic maid. I think. I also love they've got a secret like yokai supremacist meeting. They're setting it in the human village. Yeah, complete with the join the join the yokai supremacy. We have maids. <laughs> oh god, so glad you could make it zero. Grab him! I, first off, you mean Scud. Second of all, she ordered and two enforcer yokai held him. Yeah, this is a good way to make a sales pitch to a new recruit. Just keep restraining them. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Okay. What the fuck is going on? Zero roared in anger. Zero. We have a plan to ensure magic returns to all things and a yokai rule supreme. We want you to join us. I was the one that brought you here last year. Oh wait, really? You you mean you mean it's been only been an entire year? So that means in one year, um, uh, let's see, in one year, Billy had uh, uh, and uh, got Sinai pregnant. Oh dear! Yukari smile. It was all falling into place now. Everything made sense. No, it didn't. In fact, things make even less sense. You see. You are the key to the world, Zero. We brought you here, raised you, trained you to become powerful. Yukari said as she snapped her fingers and Patch uh, uh, Patchouli came into the room. This is like uh, the James Bond Spectre movie, just like Blofeld. Like, I'm the author of all your pain, James. Oh, it's oh. just Yukari. <laughs> Oh god, I'm gonna need that at some point. Yeah, you gotta make sure and put that on your notes. I will do that. Yeah. I'm sorry, Zero, but my feelings for you were were still true. Please hear Mistress Yukari out. Patch uh Patch uh Patch Louis said Zero clenched his fist. You fucking Bitch, you used me. <laughs> he said. His eyes darkened. The teacher he admired, the one that helped him learn, took him in when he ended up against Sokyo. She used him the entire time. Why? What was it all about? Then Zero asked in sadness. I walked this lonely road. <laughs> no, 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 come on. Let's just let, let's just keep going. <laughs> okay, you guys, like. You have the old blood in you. You are a descendant of the old mage Merlin. You have inside you blood of philosophers, and we need that. If you join us, you can be great. You can have a place in the new world. Think of the gifts we gave you, Zero. You are, in a sense, the sun I could never have. Because... We will create a giant transmutation circle, Zero. <laughs> Kill everyone and create the Philosopher's Stone, Zero. <laughs> Kid Yukari smiled as she teleported in front of him to steal a kiss. Zero tried to think about it. Maybe this wasn't so bad. When you find out who Yukari is later, this is very gross. Yeah, just... Eh. Zero, okay. The humans kill and murder and turn the earth into a waste. And their disease is infecting Gensokyo now. But we don't wish them exterminated, just controlled. We want to bring the old world back by merging Gensokyo and the outside <laughs> world together. And then why but clean? But you said you didn't want an extermination <laughs> to create a new universe of Gensokyo. A land seeped in pure magic. Uh, can, can we just, like, point out that, like, um, uh, the Hakure barrier, it was made to prevent the to prevent the outside world in Genzokyo to be part of the same plane of existence. So, so like, Yukari, it, it was, like, she just wanted just, like, just, uh, just destroy it all at once. I'm like, Yukari, please. Yukari, grin. This went against all of Zero Kita's ideals. Oh, God. Racism. I would never support racism, except in my later fanfics. <gasps> but we'll talk about that another time. You carry. Why can't human and yokai live together as one? Well, I mean, I mean, like Raymond and Suika, like technically live together. I mean, Suika just kind of hangs out at, at her shrine. It's like, where's my bear? <laughs> he screamed in anger. I just like this, like, he's anti-racism, <coughs> yet all the later fanfictions, I'm not even going to get into the politics, but they're, they're disgusting. <laughs> okay, what's his line? Just like, 
Actually, yeah, I'm, I've already changed Yukari's voice. Since we're playing Derp Yukari here, not at because Yukari wouldn't actually do it again. So I'll voice her like Harry Hill from Harry Hill's TV works. Just like Kaidi, <laughs> you have to hold on to your ideals. Why can't you just accept that life is not fair? Deal with it, you. There's a ton of ways to crack an egg. Oh, I love. Oh, I love what's coming up next. Yukari said as they opened the door and brought a drooling man tied to a chair in uh, in who was giddy like a five year old. It was Trajan, or better known as Billy. So this is how you recruit. I mean. They've done this to Billy long before they brought Zero here. So they've done this to Billy assuming Zero was going to refuse their initial offer. And then basically do a horrible thing to his best friend in hopes that would incentivize him to join you? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Her? Why? Yeah, Yukari, Yukari, yeah, Yukari didn't really think this part through, did she? I mean, if somebody tortured and crippled like my best friend, I'm not going to join their organization. I'm going to hate them. <laughs> Okay, so, uh, where are we? What did you yokai fucks do to him? He cried out. A little trick here, human. <laughs> used to call a full frontal lobotomy. This word you, you speak... Cried. This word you speak of, I do not think it means what you think it means. He cried for you, <laughs> and destroyed meeting before we fixed him. No, he's no better than an infant. Such a waste. Yukari sighed. He's a bit like Mr. Blobby now, my arch nemesis. <laughs> His brain matter was yummy. Brain matter? What are you talking about? Just save, just save pieces of his brain. Rumia laughed, blood dripping from her mouth because she was there, I guess. Zara powered up as his anger exploded and a red aura surrounded him as he was powered by his blood alone. Oh, now I'm just thinking the he's just Ohad like, Super Saiyan level 2 theme from the Cell game just plays like In reality, like seeing how you're how you're making him sound like Shadow the Hedgehog in reality, he's just like readying a chaos blast. <laughs> it's like, oh, I am all of me. Ah, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so he's powered by uh, Blood Alone. You carry! You will pay for this! Da -da -da. <laughs> Zero screamed as he fought as as he fought his way through the yokai, smashing them around. Master Spark! He shouted, blasting some grunts aside and then casting a barrage of fireballs as he wounded even more yokai troops. Zero then charged at Yoka and unleashed a powerful magic punch at her, but she blocked it and kicked him into a wall. We took you everything you know, Zero! You are only an archmage because of us. Yukari laughed. You Zero jumped back and shot a beam of pure ice, but Yukari blocked it using her gaps. So weak, but you could have become so powerful. She smiled, and then Zero teleported, forwarding, pu forwarding, punching at her hundreds of times, but she managed to dodge every blow and then unleashed a wave of pure energy, blasting him across the room as Zero was covered in blood. Uh, question, how, question, how big is this building? I'd like to know. <laughs> Let's see. With the humans, it's in the human village. Somebody's gonna notice this carnage going on. No, who knows? Maybe they're just really heavy sleepers. Yukari, ya uh, Yukari Yakamko floated towards him. It need not to be this way, too. She smiled, lifting him up as she locked him in a passionate kiss, feeding dark energy into his body, and it felt good. Zero thought as Yukari corrupted him even more, even more with dark power. Zero danger, danger. Hey, stranger danger, stranger danger. Z Zero fell to the ground to catch his breath as his body glowed, and he began to float and was covered in glowing ruins. Hey, Bishop Zero, taste your power and see the universe as we do. Yukari grinned, and then Zero exploded into pure magical energy as his being, bo as his being body and soul wear changed and shifted. Zero now stood with long silver hair and an elegant mage's staff with a pure emerald at the tip, and he was more powerful. You are looking like us. How do you feel? Y Yukari asked. Oh, God. It feels fucking amazing. Zero smiled and grabbed her as he forced her into a kiss. 
Welcome to your new existence. Yukari giggled and all the yokai in the room clapped and cheered. Power flowed through him as the darkness took zero. Congratulations! Congratulations! <laughs> well done! All his humanity had finally left him and the long winter was coming. Okay, so I'd like to point out that like, does this quote-unquote evil zero, I say evil with massive quotation marks, it kind of, it reminds me of like those, I was like, nothing personal, kid. <laughs> Nothing personnel, humans. And to think we're only halfway done. Oh God, Chapter Eight, Autumn's finale. Mayor Lo uh, Mayor Loiri had already put the Human Registration uh, uh, Registration Act into effect as Fujiwara looked at the posters and it said, "All humans resurrect uh, registrar. Uh, this is for your own good and safety." The poster said, and nobody questioned it because they were just glad to have more law and order as they lined up outside City Hall to get their new. ID cards and be counted by the new record to some. <gasps> <sighs> oh my god, you know how you have no idea how. If you're reading this fig with me, people, you see how difficult it is trying to read that all in one go. Suddenly, a group. Well, I'm about to just say, by the way, we're, we're uh, bringing in an authoritarian government. I was like, okay, it sounds good. <laughs> like, a, a, like, sheep to a, uh, like a herd of sheep following the shepherd. Suddenly, a group of children were running through the village. I heard they're gonna execute a terrorist today. It's gonna be awesome. Said one of the kids. And Fujiwara was worried and went to check it out. Can, can we like? Can we just like point out that like, why would kids get excited over an execution? I I don't understand. Like I understand this is rule. I know this is obviously we're, we're in the dark future now. So everyone's evil now. I and it's to show the darkness of human nature and all look, that shit. Look, 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 man, look, guys, come on. I I understand that that in Tokyo it's just rural Japan with fantasy elements and whatnot but come on guys this isn't this isn't like old this isn't like I'm a, with the witch trials come on to her horror it was an old friend of hers Biyakar and Hijiri the Buddhist ma magician ma ma magicane yokai who only had the crime of preaching for peace what are you doing? shouted Fujiwara as they led Biyakar uh, to the gallows and the crowd cheered okay I need to figure out who's uh, reading Okay, it's just generic yokai judge. Uh, God, I don't even know what to do this voice as. Yeah, it's okay, take your time. This is the market eating at her unity and freedom! She has led her followers to kill innocents and was behind a poison attack at the river. That killed many humans. She must be punished. What if in, rea what if in reality that was just Zero Kita who just felt like being a jerk today? The yokai, ju the, the, the yokai judge shouted and the crowd cheered with anger and joy. It's all lies. But I die without fear in the name of peace. Bia Karen said as they forced a bag over her head and kicked her in the stomach. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, you whore! The George Yokai laughed and the crowd cheered as they forced a rope around her neck. Fujiwara felt powerless, angry. She wanted to attack to stop this, but she could not do anything. And they latched, and, and, and they, the hatch, opened and they hung her. And Bia Karen was dead as the crowd cheered with glee and joined the event of blood. Perhaps humans wear scum after all. Fujiwara sighed to herself, turning her back. And that was the last we ever saw of her. Da 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 da. <laughs> I just love this, like, all humans are evil thing to go for. But it's a yokai that are doing most of the evil. And we just jumped to a fascist state where, like, people have, like, become a death cult that celebrates, like, state execute. This is how it happened in under, like, a few days. Outside the Buddhist temple, a silver-haired mage was waiting his orders. Put it to the ground, leave no survivors. Yukari's voice could be heard in his mind. It will be done, my mistress. Zero smiled as he snapped his fingers, and a squad of imposing moon rabbits in high-tech armor and gas masks with guns came out of the shadows. Oh, God. So, you're the allies from the moon. 
Take the cool shit you guys have. Zero laughed as he pointed his staff at the temple and they marched towards it. Zero aimed his emerald staff at the temple and chanted a spell shooting out a stream of pure fire as it be as the building began to burn and then to his I mean, he soldiers ran, run towards it opening fire and the Buddhist yokai and humans within could not hope to defeat men with guns and, and, and technology or oh, I'm sorry technology as people screamed and died. Oh. I'm just picturing as they're going up the stairs and he's got all these like shock troopers behind them that just your car is just on the radio like execute order 66. Yeah, I was going to say it's, it's just execute order 66. <laughs> the new AK. And then it just shows like a montage of, of, like, of like various yokai uh, just, uh, just turning their backs on the humans and everything. You've got to believe me, zero murdered youngling. <laughs> I mean, New A came out screaming in anger as she fired a barrage of magical bullets, killing a few of the soldiers. You bastards! We have followers of peace! How could you do this to us? New A cried, and Zero just laughed at her. Okay, Zero's lame. I'm, I'm just thinking, uh, I'm channeling Jasper from Steven Universe for oh, Evil Zero. Do you think Yoka can share the word with gum? There is a pecking order to be followed. It's simply the way things are. The divine right of kings and our goddess shall set things right. Uh, Zero said as he fired an ice strike through her stomach, wounding her as blood ran out her body. I won't be defeated that easily. Nuwe shouted and cast a healing spell and then flew away because Nuwe because in Japanese folklore know how to heal themselves. Suddenly, a flying sailing ship came out of the dark sky and fired cannons below, killing all the moon soldiers. <laughs> Do you think the sky will save you? Dream on, fool. Dream on. Zero laughed. Zero took out a radio device that the soldiers gave him. Rosin, my dear, you know what to do. I think you mean raisin, uh, Zero said as he pressed the radio button in a high-tech location that looked like an airship cockpit. Raisin was there along with officers and soldiers from the moon. Understood. She sighed, not feeling happy about being dragged into this act of evil or forced to help her people once more. After all, she came with the princess to escape them, and now that peace was leaving. <sighs> Must we spread bloodshed? She thought, but then decided to follow orders. On the sailing ship, Sho was trying to man the guns. <laughs> no, we're winning! We can do this! Sho said, and then Nazrin came in. I think we should retreat. Squeak! After all, we must ensure our leaders and teachers can survive. Squeak! She said, and Nui nodded. She's right. If we stay here, we could die. Nui said, but then a high-tech airship we seen above them as missiles and lasers smash into the sailing ship, blasting it to pieces as bits of wood fire and splinters wear everywhere, and Nui was falling through the sky, her legs blown off and her wound reopened. But you, you know she can fly, right? Is this the end? It Is this the day darkness wins? <coughs> Breaking. I will be joining you soon, she said and passed away. In a forest, the fiery wreck of the once proud ship sat as Nazrin found Sho, a large, sharp piece of wood and debris through her body as she coughed up blood. Please, find the others. Make sure Bray Karen's teachings can survive. Sho coughed and then died as Nazrin cried in pain and anguish. The next morning, the village seemed peaceful as if nothing had happened and life was going on. There was a newspaper that was pub uh, that was published and, and and run by Yukara's own organization, a seeker called the Daily Truth. And the front cover had terrorists caught, Yuka uh, yokai serpentist gr uh, groups stopped by heroic guards at Yukara's mansion. She was in bed with Zero as they cuddled and kissed. How many people was he slept with? Come on. Come on, Getting man. Ridiculous. What is, like, the Pretty second person he slept? What is, like, the second person he slept now? It's also gross, but we'll get to that in the final chapters. Because <laughs> I'm going to have a rant about that if we get that far. No, no, Trent, no, Trent. We'll talk about it in our, in our final thoughts. Yeah. Video. Okay. Mm, this was wonderful, my pet. Yeah, Yukari giggled and wrapped her arms around him. You know, because I'm voicing her like mimetic ha and Harry Hill playing your carry and sleeping with zero now. Mm. 
Kate, uh, case you don't know who Harry Hill is, you can Google him later. He's a mm. British comedian and he's a bald dude with uh, big glasses. Alright. He looks like a bean. <laughs> a bean boy. Anything for you, dear. This power is amazing. Zero laughed and kissed her. Yukari got out of bed and got dressed. I plan to give a speech tomorrow. I will be saying I am part of a peace movement of UK human unity. We also plan to pass more laws and put more of our people in key positions. We will, we, we will take over every sector of the human village and then it will be too late for the cattle. Yukari smiled. Pa uh, Patch Louie was outside of the was outside the room as she listened in feelings of guilt overcoming her for what she helped turn Zerat he, he man she loved into. She watched as he left the room. Zero, I'm sorry for but I was wrong to help you carry. Please, this isn't you. You must fight the darkness and free your mind. Patchouli sighed. Zero just laughed. Why? I feel perfect. I'm drunk on this fantastic power. I only fancy you. Now step out of my way. Zero said. Patch, uh, Patchouli rubbed her stomach. Zero, I am. Um, it doesn't matter. You have a mission today, I guess. She said and left the room and Zero ignored her and shrugged and then went outside. Ron waited outside. You know what you must do, Zero. Ron, Ron said sinisterly. Of course. We are going to murder the traitor Sine and her goddess before they plan to move against the takeover of the humans. I am going to enjoy this. I am yet to eat my first human, and it will be a landmark moment for me to have her. <laughs> Zero laughed. They got a large uh, bat, uh, bat lion of min uh, min armed to the teeth uh, and, and battle mage yokai as they began their march towards the yokai mountain to destroy the green haired shrine maiden. Fu uh, Fujiwara watched and then them leave as she closed her fist. I have to warn them. We have to stop them before they destroy everything. Oh, they got us for like one more chapter un until we're done for this video. I mean, oh gonna... god, let's play through this one. No. <clears throat> uh, chapter nine: Winter's Downfall. At, at the Moya Shrine, Goddess Kanago was fixing machines. Can she can get through this before she burns her roast? Let's mm -hmm. find out. <laughs> she is. That's... We have to hurry before your carriage regime gets here. She said, and then Suwako came into the room wearing her hat with the eyeballs, because that is clearly important to know. Can we really fight them, Robert? We need to know they control the boy down his power, Robert. Su Suwako sighed as she picked up a spanner and went to help her sister. Z uh, Sanai put on some armor as she practiced her skills, and then the army began to march up the steps. They are here, Sunai said as the goddess nodded and pressed a button and then cannons formed from the ground. Fire! Uh, Kanako shouted and the steampunk cannons blasted tons of the yokai troops and moonshock soldiers away. Because we have to remember, it's steampunk because that is important. Sunai shouted and then fired explosive magic at the enemy killing even more of their ranks. Eat this! She sounded with such fury as she dropped an explosive meter spell on them, destroying heavy armor and elite soldiers. Now let's see. This is for Billy, you fucking bastards! Sa Sayanai screamed as she charged f forward, cutting down more and more soldiers. Then Zero appeared and stabbed her in the back with an obscene knife. Stupid cow. He mocked and kicked her to the flood as she uh, was left in a pool of blood and then spat on her. Is that all you can do, Kanako, you bitch? Zero smirked. Suddenly, a cannon shell smashed into Zero and did heavy damage and then a barrage of powerful magic, ma uh, magic, magics. <laughs> magic, magics. <laughs> Magic, magic. Ah, uh, magic! Ah, oh, yes, the most terrifying magic of all. Magics. Slammed him in the back. It's just a scratch. No, no, you do not deserve to make Monty Python references. Zero laughed and unleashed dark spikes at Kaneko, but she dodged. <coughs> just die already. Zero shouted and fighted back with dark storm magic and wounded Kaneko. Oh, God. Zero, just snap out of it. Can't you see you carry has corrupted you with darkness? Mm -hmm. 
Please, I know you are a gentle and loving soul. Um, uh, let's see, go back a few chapters, and yep, yeah, last time I recall, he uh, mercilessly broke one of Rumia's arms and or legs. Yeah, he's clearly a gentle and loving soul. Kind of goes. Kind of you, uh, Linkara's a uh, holy terror of you, and uh, called mm -hmm. the fixer a gentle soul. <laughs> kind of go beg as Zero placed his boot on her neck, ready to snap it. Shut up, you fucking bitch. I'm happy as who I am. He growled. Kanako was crying. Please, Zero. We worked together to make Gensokyo a better place. You were meant to be a guardian. You were supposed to destroy the Sith, not join them. <laughs> you were to supposed to defeat the, to the force, Not leave it in darkness. <laughs> of this beautiful land, not its destruction. Please fight this. Kanako begged. Then a sword cut through Zero's chest. Fuck you! Sane shouted as she then finally passed out from her wounds. Zero stumbled, wounded fatally as blood ran out of his body. I'm sorry, Zero, but perhaps you need to fight this battle alone. Kaneko said and blasted him with a fire spell as he burned to death screaming and then Zero was gone. That's really it. Revenge of the Seth. <laughs> I hate you! I hate you! You are my brother, Zero Kaita! I love you! <laughs> Thank you. Zero side as he finally, as he final uh, semicolon Lee passed. All right, all right, fix over, fix over. <laughs> I wish. Zero woke up, his hair normal again, and he was wearing his old outfit as he felt, as he fell through a wind of fire and pain, seeing suffering souls screaming around him as he landed on a plat, a plat of, a plat of mer. Zero was in hell, as where he should be. Zero looked around and saw a purple-haired girl with a strange eyeball device on the bird-like girl. Uh. So, this is a stupid one. He looks stupid. I mean, to be fair, you're not wrong there, Utsuho. You're not wrong. The crow-like girl laughed. I say, you are in the former hell of the burning fire, school chap. If you wish to leave, you must simply overcome the darkness. The there. lady, the lady said, it's like that's, it's like she's just saying that, like with a top hat, a monocle, and just having some, and just like having some British tea or something. Uh, Spaz is a jazz hands millionaire character guy, mm. obviously. <laughs> Who are you? Zero Esker, uh, Eskerd, and a uh, girl smiled. Why, I say, good sir, I'm Mr. Toy, and I see in your mind you are glad about evil. Quite a nasty pickle you're in, eh? If you are to one day stop the darkness, then I say, you must fear your chains. Zatori said and vanished with her pet. They were totally important to the plot. Zero was confused, and then he heard footsteps as a silver haired man with an emerald sword came up to him, and it was the evil Zero Yukari created, but he looked pa paler, darker, more. Uh, darker eyes, and more evil. <laughs> Okay. So we died. Well, that fucking blows. But don't worry. We will merge our souls together and become more powerful. Then return to Gensokyo to complete our mistress's mission. The Dark Zero said. Zero chanted and created a katana of pure light energy. <laughs> no. I gave in to my pain and allowed Yukai to corrupt me. But no more, you bastard. Zero this is who I am. Zero screamed as he charged and clashed swords with his corrupt self. <laughs> oh, God. Got a name, asshole. I can't keep calling you my corrupted self. Zero laughed. I am Hollow Zero. He grinned and they clashed blades. Cla All right, Hollow Zero. Nope, I don't remember that nobody being in the Kingdom Hearts lore, but it's best that we don't talk about that. The fighting was intense as they clashed blades at high speeds, parrying every blow with extreme power. You're weak, Zero. Or should I say, James, you need me. I keep you safe. I give you power. I protect us. I get us all the girls. I'm Chad. I'm Alpha and Red Pill, baby. With me, you can have it all. Face it, Zero. Without me, you're a pathetic. A waste. Nothing. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, Hollow Zale laughed as their blades met each other tightly. Zero trying to push hard to break his guard. I, I mean, I feel like at this point he was, he's just calling him out. Okay, he's calling yeah. out. Yeah, he's literally nothing without his powers. <laughs> Let's see. Zero charged his magic. Holy arrow! He shouted and fired a lot of arrows of pure light, but Hollow Zero blocked them with his sword and charged as they hit blades again. You're weak. Hollow Zero shouted. 
I've lost so many friends because of evil. Kane, Billy, I was forced to kill and do terrible things because of you. No more! No more! He said and cut, and cut forward, slicing a hollow zero across the torso and wounding him badly as he, bet, as he bled corrupted energy. Zero unleashed his final spell. Trio! Omega! Uh, shut up, just say Chaos Blast, shouted, and a hollow Zero was atomized in a blast of pure red energy, leaving nothing remaining as Zero fell to the ground, tired and ready to rest. It's over. Satoru's voice could be heard. Oh, I dare say, oh, Ben, you've overcome the darkness. Now you may leave this place and get a good pastures, I dare say. Satori said as pure light cut through the burn orange sky and lifted Zero above as he passed out from the pain in Futgi. Is he awake yet? Come on, wake up! Zero opened his eyes and saw a field of otherworldly flowers and a bright clear sky and shards with, uh, which are commonly known as floating islands. He was also wearing clean robes and was no longer dirty. And this is where we get the legendary ship. Here we go! Many fan fictions. Where am I? Zero asked, and a blue-haired girl with a hat covered in peaches, all of one peach, my I add, or one or two, smiled and giggled. You're in the celestial realm, silly. And you mean celestial? She replied. Zero sat up, taken aback, but this goddess-like girl before him. Who are you? He asked. I'm Tenshi Hinininiwara. Please meet you. She said and helped him up. She she escorted to Zero to a temple guarded by tall angels, and they met uh, and they met a man there. Really, you're not gonna have Iku there? Then again, it's probably best that you didn't. My name is Flan, an archangel and high up in the chain of command. We've been expecting you for some time, Zero Kita. Flown smiled, and, and Zero felt it, it felt at ease, as if her her aura had a calming effect. <laughs> Am I dead? Z Zero asks, the, and Flon shook her head. You're in the twilight between life and death. What? In a sense, you have ascended to a higher plane due to your bloodline as a descendant of Merlin. Well, shut up and let him die already, Flon said. Zero thought on what happened. Oh, uh, there's a darkness coming. I must return to the moral realms to stop it. Zero clenched his fist. Of course. But you must become a mage that has mastered the light and holy arts. If you are to defeat this coming evil... The, 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 what was those holy arrows there earlier? Well, that wasn't holy magic? Okay. Flown noted. Zero sighed. How long could this take? <laughs> he asked. You will stay with us for two years and train with us, after which time you will be revived and returned to Gensokyo. Flown said. Revived implies they are dead. So, yes, you are, in fact, dead, Flown said. Tenshi hugged Zero. Yay, you sound like fun. I can't wait to hang out. Come on, Zero. I'll show you around. You can even stay at my place, too. No, Tenshi hugged and Zero smiled as she took him on a tour of the uh, of the Selatol realms. Over the next few months, Zero got to know Tenshi and they became close friends and built a friendship that would write the fate of many for generations to come. <gasps> <sighs> okay, we are done with Winter's Downfall. And that this, animal. And this, my friends, was where we're going to leave it off. Yeah, that, that's right. We're still not done, but we're going to have to sell all this for next time. Join us next time uh, as we go to part four. Until next time. In ciao. my life, please. No, <laughs> one day, not today. So anyways, ciao.